a foam roller, and I've got three pound weights. Okay. And then, let's see. Okay. I'm gonna make sure you can see me down here on the floor. Uh, are we ready? Yep. Yeah. Okay, let's get started. So we'll stand on our mat, feet parallel, hip width apart, soft bend in our knees. Let's take a big inhale. Bring our fingertips to the ceiling. Grow taller. Ugh. Relax the shoulders at the ears. Exhale, scoop our abs, round hip forward like we're rounding over a barrel. Let everything hang heavy at the bottom. Head hangs heavy, arms hang heavy. While we're there, let's bend one knee and then the other, pedaling our legs out. Feel that stretch through the back body, through the low back. Feel any tension draining out of our neck and shoulders. One more time to each side. We'll come back to center with our inhale, soften the knees, scoop the abs, use our exhale to roll it up, restacking the spine on a piece of the chain. Heads wants to come up. When it does, let's roll the shoulders back and down, back and down again, and we'll keep them there. So let's start with our foam roller, lengthwise on our mat. And then we're going to lay on our foam roller. Tailbone is supported, head is supported. So we're going to lay all the way down. Think about bringing the feet wider as we're starting here. We're just going to start with the stretch. So feet nice and wide, help us with our stability. And then we'll bring the hands wide, palms face the ceiling. Feel the shoulder blades wrapping around the foam roller. Feel the opening through the chest. Neck is long and relaxed, belly button pulling in. We feel that heavy tailbone neutral spine. And just breathing here as we inhale, think about the rib cage expanding laterally to the sides rather than out in front. As we exhale, feel the front ribs pull tighter together, belly button scoop deeper. Two more big breaths. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Inhale. Exhale. Let's bring the arms to goal pose arms. So here, I know my elbows can't touch the mat. They don't reach all the way down. If yours do, that's great. I'm really tight through the chest here. So we should feel a deeper stretch in that goal pose position. And with our next exhale, let's take the fingertips overhead and then bring those elbows wide back to goal post. And fingertips overhead and wide back to that goal post position. Think about the shoulder blades sliding up and down the spine, up and down against the foam roller. Getting some movement through the shoulders, through the scapula. And continue to lengthen those pectoral muscles, lengthen through the front of the shoulders, through the chest. And two. Last one. And then we'll bring those arms long by our side. Let's take the right hand up overhead. And then scissor the arms. Again, getting some movement through the shoulders. And scissor. And scissor. One more to each side. And then we'll bring both arms up by your side. So hands closer to our foam roller is a little bit more challenging. Hands wider is always going to be nicer. So if you feel like you're going to fall, bring the hands wider. I kind of like to have my mind on the end of my mat. Then we're going to bring that right leg into tabletop and set it down. Left leg into tabletop and set it down. So starting to engage through the core here, starting to challenge our balance on this roller, and find that stability. The hinging at the hip. We should feel the obliques engage here, we should feel the core engage. 
helping to maintain our balance, helping us to not fall off this roller. And when the left leg comes back to tabletop, keep it there. We're going to bring the right leg up to match it. Squeeze the legs together. Gently imprint the lower back if we need to. And bring the hands wider if you need to for stability. And we're going to do the exact opposite of what we were doing. Looking into the hip, bring the right toes to the mat, back up. Left toes to the mat, and back up. So think about maintaining that 90 degree bend at the knee. How does this feel, Lisa? Good, I like this. Using that exhale to pull the knee back up to tabletop. One more to each side. And then keep those legs at tabletop. We're going to extend our toes to the ceiling and back to tabletop. And toes to the ceiling and back to tabletop. And you can always challenge yourself by bringing the hands closer to the roller. And three, two, one, legs come back to tabletop. Now we're going to extend the right leg across the room, back to tabletop, and then the left. Okay, I'm really feeling those obliques engaged to help us stay stable, help keep from rocking from side to side. One more to each side. Still breathing. And then we'll bring one foot to the mat and then the other. Maybe roll side to side a couple times. That massage between the shoulder blades. And we have one more set. Arms are long. Let's bring the right leg to tabletop and then the left. Squeeze those legs tight together. Now we're going to extend both legs across the room, back to tabletop. And extend both legs back to tabletop. Higher is going to be nicer, lower is more challenging. And three, two, last one, back to tabletop. Hold it there. Now we can just have both feet come down toward the mat. We don't necessarily have to touch the mat and right back up. And down toward the mat and right back up. And three. Only as low as we're not arching through the low back. Two. One. And then right foot finds the floor and then the left. Let's bring the feet wider. Open the arms wide one more time. Turn the palms to face the ceiling. Feel the shoulder blades wrapping around the spine and over. Let's take one more big inhale. With our exhale, let's turn the palms to face the floor, bring them closer to the roller. We'll carefully roll up to seated. And then just slide off that roller onto our mat. Okay, so you should have felt some abs there. Oh, yeah. Okay. That feel okay on your back? Yeah, that was good. Okay, we're going to have that foam roller sideways on our mat down by our feet here. So sideways on our mat by our feet. Okay. And we're going to bring the arches of our feet to the foam roller as we lay it all the way down. Arms are long, palms face the floor, and have those arches right on that foam roller. Let's keep the hips down to start right into our bridging here. To begin, we'll start with just pelvic tucks and tilts. Exhale, imprint the low back. Inhale, rock out to neutral. Exhale, imprint the low back. Inhale, rock out to neutral. If this doesn't feel good as we get started, for your spine, for your hamstrings, you can always ditch the foam roller and do this without. And two. The last one. Now with our next exhale, let's scoop the abs, tuck the pelvis, peel the hips up, find that nice high bridge. Inhale there, exhale, slowly roll down. Think engaging the inner thighs, keeping those knees parallel, tracking to the ceiling. Think about keeping the hips level and keeping the roller as quiet as we can. Nice and stable. We use our exhale to peel up. Find that length through the spine, through the hip flexors. Inhale there. 
and exhale, focus on the mobility through the spine as we set our spine down one piece at a time. And we've got three more just like that. Belly button pulling in, protecting the low back. Neck is long and relaxed. Fingertips reaching long, triceps pressing into the mat for support. Next time we feel the hips up, we're gonna hold it up. Hold those hips high, we're gonna hinge at the hips, drop the tailbone, tap the mat, exhale back up. So nice flat back end here. We should feel a little more work through the glutes, through the hamstrings. Belly button still pulling in. And four. Three. Two. Last one, lift and hold. Big inhale there. Exhale, slowly roll down. Heel bumps last to come down. When that does, let's hug our knees into our chest. Rock side to side here, not the low back. We'll take all 10 toes to the ceiling, lift the chest, reach those toes further, and then point and flex. Really lengthen the hamstrings here, point and flex. Point and flex. And one more time. And now let the left leg fall long over the foam roller, pull that right leg in toward our chest. Exhale, exhale, inhale to switch. Exhale, exhale, inhale to switch. Reaching the toes further, getting the stretch. Now let's continue with the legs. Bring the hands behind the head. Lift the chest a little wider. Keeping the elbows wide. Now let's add rotation. The opposite shoulder toward the thigh. Twist, twist deeper with that second exhale. Twist, twist deeper. And two more. Last one to each side. We'll hug our knees, rest it down. Okay, let's bring the arches of our feet back to the foam roller. Arms along by our side. We're going to add on now. We're going to scoot the ass, tuck the pelvis, peel the hips up. Keep those hips nice and high, pull the belly button in. We're going to press the roller away from us a few inches and pull it back. And press away and pull it back. Take that hamstring curl here. That's what's helping us move this roller. And four. Really use the triceps for support. Keep those hips high. Three. Two. One. Pull that foam roller back underneath us. Now we'll pulse this higher. 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 Four, four, three, two, one, inhale there. Exhale, slowly roll down. Let's hug our knees into our chest one more time. Give ourselves some knee circles in one direction. Reverse those circles, circling in the other direction. Let's hold on to that front of the shins. Lift the chest. We're curled up in this little ball. One into our double leg stretch here. So we're going to keep that chest lifted. Inhale, extend arms and legs away from each other. Exhale, circle the arms around. Grab the front of the chin. Inhale to extend. Exhale, circle around. And five. Beautiful. Four. Three. Two. The last one, and rest it down. So now we're going to press that foam roller away. I want to rest the backs of our ankles on this foam roller. Fingertips are reaching for the ceiling. Think about really pressing into this foam roller. Try not to let the heels lift. We're going to inhale, notch, and just exhale, roll all the way up, reach for our toes. Inhale, lift. Exhale, slowly roll it down. Setting the spine down one piece at a time, fingertips to the ceiling. Inhale, on chin to chest. Exhale, roll it up. Belly button pulling behind us as we reach for the toes. Inhale there. Exhale, slowly roll it down. So we want to feel this work on the roll down. 
We're using that breath to roll up. Inhale, mind, chin, chest. Exhale, roll it up. Inhale there. Exhale, roll it back. And two more. Reaching a little further for the toes each time. Last one. Roll it up. Reach for those toes. Maybe grab the toes, grab the ankles. Whenever you can, stretch a little deeper. And with our next inhale, let's sit tall. Okay, we're going to set that foam roller off to the side. And come on up to standing. So we should feel a little bit warmed up, a little bit more mobile through the spine. Yep. And we're going to grab our hand weights. So we'll start feet parallel, hip width apart. Arms are long, palms face behind us. Let's sit down into our squat. Arms come forward. Press the hands back as we stand it up. And sit down and stand it up. Take weight heavy in our heels. Belly button pulling in. And five. Opening through the chest as we press back. Four. Three. Two. The last one, hold it. Relax the shoulders and pulse. 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 Five. Four. Three. Two. One. All the way back up. Shake the shoulders out. Let's bring heels together, toes apart. Open those arms wide, soft in the elbows. Make shoulders still pulling out of the ears. We sit down into our plies, we hug a tree and stand it up. So we don't have to squat quite as low. Belly button pulling in, heels squeezing tight together. Zipping up the inner thighs. Looks beautiful, Lisa. Thank you. And five. Four. Think about this movement through the ankles. Three. Two. One, hold it. Relax the shoulders and little pulse. Pulse, pulse. We should feel glutes, we should feel inner thighs. And five, four, three, two, one. All the way back up. Go ahead, bring the feet wider than our hips, but still in parallel now. So toes pointing forward. Arms are long by our side. And we're going to sit down into a squat as we bring those arms to a T. Stand up. So a little bit awkward here. Think hinge slightly forward at the hips. Nice flat back, belly button pulling in. Weight heavy in our heels. And five. Four. Three. Two. Last one, sit it and hold it. And pulse, pulse, pulse. Five, four. Three, two, one, all the way back up. But stay wide and externally rotate. Elbows come wide, palms face forward. We're gonna sit down into a sumo squat, press up overhead. Knees tracking over the second and third toe. Still feeling inner thighs working. Still feeling glutes. Belly button pulling deeper. Think the shoulders pulling out of the ears as we reach the weights to the ceiling. Starting to activate our lats. And four. Three. Two. Last one. Bring it down, hold it, and pulse. Four, three, two, one, all the way up. Hold it down, lift the left heel, and pulse. Four, three, two, one, all the way up. Bring it down, lift the right heel, and pulse, pulse. Three, two, one, all the way up. Bring it down, lift both heels, find our balance, and pulse, pulse, pulse. Three, two, one, and up. <laughs> and arms come on. A little bit of balance, right? Sounds good. Okay, we're gonna set the weights to the side. 
And we're going to come back down to our roller. So sitting mermaid style, we want this foam roller right under the side body between the bottom rib and hip. So if you want to mirror me, you would be on your right side. We're going to do both sides, so do whichever side is comfortable first. Okay, so up on that form, heels together. Let's lift those heels, legs are stacked. We're going to climb shell open and close. Open and close. Think strong through the shoulder, slightly lifted through the side body. So we just have a little bit of support from that roller. And four, three, two, one. Now the entire leg lifts and lowers and lowers. Getting movement through the hip, belly button pulling in, keeping those hips stacked, lifting the side body slightly for three, two, last one open and little pulses open, 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 four, three, two, one, and all the way down. Come down, out they have a little bit of feeding too. Okay, we're going to extend the top leg, keep that bottom leg tucked under. Fingertips to the ceiling, flex the top foot, and we lift and lower. Lift and lower. Check in, we're still strong through that shoulder, not sagging down. And three, two, one. Hold that leg at hip height, point our toes, sweep forward, flex the foot as we sweep back. And point forward and flex back. Think slow and controlled here. We're trying not to rock through that pelvis, keeping everything stacked. And three. Feel that squeeze through the glute as we pull the heel behind us. Two. One. Bring that leg back to center, little circles. And circle. And circle. And three. Two. One. Reverse. For six. Five, four, three, two, one. Now we bend the knee into tabletop and press it out. We bend it in and press it out. And four more. We should really be starting to feel some work through the glute. Three, two, one, and bend it in. And out. Okay, we're going to stay on our side. We're going to round over this foam roller. So we're going to lay all the way over. Bottom leg is tucked under. Top leg extended long. Flex that top foot. Again, we're going to lift the leg. And lift. And lift. And three. Two. One. Now as we lift the leg, bring the arm over and tap. And tap. Tap. And three, two, one. Now as we tap, we lift the chest. So we've done this with the ball. Yeah. Three movement. And four, three, two, one. And rest it down. Okay, one more step for the side body. We're going to come down to our elbow. So head is in our hand, bottom leg still tucked under. Top leg long and it's going to rest on the neck. Top arm reaches long. Neck is long, gaze forward, and we're going to lift. And lift. So we've done these using the bows a couple times in studio. And four, three, two. Last one, lift and hold and pulse. Pulse, pulse, three, two, one, and stretch it over. And let's come on up, mermaid style. So that bottom leg is tucked in front, the top leg is out to the side. Foam rollers next to us, we're going to open our arms to a T. We're going to press the weight, press into that foam roller as we stretch over. Inhale, bring it back in. And exhale, press away, pressing down into that foam roller. Feel the lats working just a little bit here. And three, lengthening through the side body. 
Neck stays in line with the rest of the spine for two. Just think about pressing that hip toward the mat, even as it's trying to lift. Last one. We'll come on up, counter stretch in the opposite direction. We'll sit tall. We're going to turn over onto our tummy. Toes reaching out behind us. Legs hip width apart. Thighs pressing into the mat, toes press into the mat. Arms are long. We're pressing down into this foam roller. Neck is long. We're not pulling that foam roller towards us yet. All we're going to do is lift and lower. Keep that foam roller stable. We'll lift and lower. Neck is in line with the spine. Cubic bone pressing into the mat. And three. Inhale to lift, exhale to lower two. One. Now lift and hold. Lift the right leg up behind us, set it down. Left leg, set it down. Right. Left. Think about that lift coming from the glutes. I'm noticing here that my right side is a little bit more tired from that side body work we already did. Right. And left. One more time. Right. Left. And then rest it down. Arms are still long, so now toes stay on the mat. With our inhale, we're going to pull the roller toward us as we lift into our swan. Exhale, roll it away. And really pulling the belly button in, only lifting as high as feels good for us. If we feel this in our low back, we're lifting too high. Neck is long, no wrinkles in the back of the neck. So even as we lift, our gaze is right at that foam roller. And four. Think pressing down into this roller as we lift, relaxing the shoulders for three. Two. Last one. And all the way back out. So let that foam roller stay away. Come on to our hands and knees. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. And give ourselves a couple of tap cows. Exhale, spine to the ceiling. Inhale, belly button to the mat. Tailbone lifts up behind us. Exhale, spine to the ceiling like an angry cat. Inhale, belly button to the mat. One more time. Exhale, round through the spine. Inhale, get that extension. And then find our neutral spine somewhere between the two. Maybe wag the tail like happy puppy. So we're going to come on up and do the other side. So four more words on our other side. If you're mirroring me to your left side now, we're down on our forearm. Foam rollers right between the bottom rib and the hip. Legs are stacked. Heels together and heels lift in space. We're going to open and close. So starting with those clamshells. I'm getting sweaty. And five. Belly button pulling in. Strong through the shoulder. Three more. Two. One. Now the entire leg opens and opens and six, five, warming up through the hip, four, three, two, the last one open, hold it and pulse, 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 five, four, three, two, one, and down. <sighs> Smiling really helps when it starts to burn, I think. Yes. <laughs> um, do what? I'm doing a lot of smiling. Me too. It's because it's burning. Okay, strong through that shoulder. Lift that top leg to hip height. And we're going to start lift and lower. Lift and lower. Notice if one side's tighter than the other. And three, two, one. Oh, forgot. Top hand to the ceiling. Point our toes, sweep that leg forward, flex the heel, sweep back. Really focused on this pelvic stability here. Not letting the hips rock forward and back as that leg sweeps. So it's that disassociation. We want to feel just that femur head moving within the ball and socket joint of the hip. 
We don't want anything else moving. It's like a Barbie doll. We can move her legs and everything else is stable. And two. Last one. And then we're going to bring that leg back in line with the hip in little circles. And circle. And circle. Check in. We're still strong through that shoulder. And three, two, one. Reverse. Really flexing the foot, drawing that circle with our heel. Makes it more fun. And three, two, one. Hold it. Bend the knee into tabletop. Press it out. And bend it in. Press it out. And four. If we're pushing something heavy away, three, two, one. Hold it out there. And then rest it down. Kind of like a little bit. Okay. We extend that top leg, bottom arm extends long, we round over our bosu. Top arm stretches overhead, flex that top foot, and we lift and lower. And lift and lower. And four, three, two, one. Now that arm comes long as we lift. And we tap. And tap. And four, three, Two, one, now that chest lifts, and lift, and lift, and four. Oh my gosh, my outer thigh is burning. Three, two, one, and round it over. Whew. Okay, let's come up onto our elbow. So in the swimsuit model position. Top leg is still extended long. Top arm is long at our side, hovering above the hip. Neck in line with the spine. And now we're going to lift and lower. Lift and lower. And four. Three. Make side body work. Two. One. Lift and hold and pulse. 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 Three. Two. One. And we're going to over. Let's come up into our mermaid position. So in that case, leg that was on bottom is tucked in front. Top leg is out to the side. Hand comes to the foam roller. Other arm out to the teeth. We're going to press it away. Stretch it over. Inhale, pull it back in. And exhale, up and over. Think pressing that hip down toward the mat. Inhale, back in. Find a length through that side body. Space between the ribs. And three. Pressing down into that roller, activating the lat a little bit. And two. Last one. And then as we come up, we counter stretch in the opposite direction. And then we're sitting tall. Okay. We're going to come up. Turn around the other way. Color is sideways on our mat. If you prefer, you can plank on your hands. On the roller, it gets to be really risky. I have to plank on my forms. So we're going to start with this first one. Toes curled under, knees directly under hips. We're not going to press all the way out. We're just going to hover. This is going to be a 15 second hover. So when you're ready, Lift those knees, stabilize through that foam roller, belly button pulling in, strong through the shoulders. Breathing. Neck is long, gaze just forward. Big inhales, big exhales. And three, two, one. Set the knees down. Stretch it back, find your child's pose. Reach the arms along on that roller. How'd that feel, Lisa? Good, I like those. I like the hooks. They're, they're challenging. Yeah. Okay. So does that feel okay on your forearms? Yeah, yeah, that's okay. Okay. So now forearms on the roller. We're going to step our right toes back, then our left toes back. This time we're holding this plank. Slight tuck of the pelvis, press back through the heels. Neck is long, belly button pulling in. Strong through the shoulders, shoulder blades pulling apart from each other. Most importantly, we're breathing. Big inhales. Big exhales. 
Checking in, everything is active. Quads, glutes, hamstrings, calves, belly button, abs, shoulders. Big inhales, big exhales, we've got five seconds. And three, two, one, let's set the knees down. Stretch it back. Okay, last one. We're on our forms this time, we're gonna add movement. So when you're ready, we're gonna step that back, find your plank. Arms in parallel, slight tuck of the pelvis, we're gonna press the foam roller away, pull it back. Press it away, pull it back. And just six more. And five, you should feel that engagement through the core deep and four, three, Two, one, pull it back to center, hold it for five, four, three, two, one, set the knees down, open wider than we did before, so maybe as wide as our back, set the hips back over the heels, reach the arms on. Let's walk your hands to the right side of the foam roller, stretch through the left side of the body. Walk through center to the left side of the foam roller, stretch through the right side of the body. Back to center. And then we'll come on up. We're going to put this foam roller lengthwise on our mat again. We're going to have our weights with us. We're going to lay down on our foam roller just like we started the, the class. So, Tailbone on that foam roller, tailbone supported, head supported. Feet are parallel. And bringing those feet closer together is going to be more challenging, wider is going to be nicer. So as we start moving here, you can kind of adjust to challenge yourself a little more or a little less. And neutral spine, heavy tailbone. And we're going to start with elbow taps. Elbows in tight to our side, knuckles to the ceiling. We take those weights to the ceiling and right back down to our waist. All the way to the ceiling, elbows come back in line with our waist. And five, four, three, two. Last one, let's bring those elbows down now, alternating punches. Right arm to the ceiling, left arm to the ceiling. And right, and left. And two more to each side. Feeling the obliques engaged, help us stabilize. Last one. And when we're even, elbows come down. As bring the elbows wide, both those arms. And chest press, weights come together over our chest, elbows are wide. And weights together over our chest, elbows wide. And four. Three. Two. Last one, keep those weights to the ceiling. Now just the right elbow comes wide back to the ceiling. The left elbow comes wide back to the center. I walk in a little bit. Uh -huh. Me too. <laughs> so we should really feel core, should really feel our legs. One more to each side. And then hold it there. Turn the palms to face in. Soften our elbows. Open those arms for a chest fly. And close. And open and close. And four. Three. Two. One. Close those weights together. Now open just the right arm. And then the left. Only going as far as you can maintain control of this roller. Right. Left. Check in. We still have that neutral spine. Space in the low back. Our feet are supported so we don't need to imprint. But we also don't want to arch. And one more to each side. And back to center. Okay, let's bring those weights down. Keep the right weight in our hand. Just set the left weight away. Left. Hand finds the floor, right arm, we're going to take that weight to the ceiling. 
So you can bring that right foot wider if you need to. Find your balance, bring the left leg to tabletop. Okay, now we're going to reach the right arm overhead, the left leg reaches away, and back to our start position. And it reaches away, and back to start. So we should feel tricep working here a little bit. We should feel that focus on balance. Bring the hand closer to the midline. Look closer to the midline. It's going to make this more challenging. And three. Two. One. And then foot so finds the floor. We're going to switch hands with that weight. Right hand comes to the floor, left hand to the ceiling. We'll bring the right leg to tabletop. Take a moment, find our balance here. Now we're going to reach, lay the way as arm reaches overhead and back to start. And reaches away and back to start. So again, feeling this work through the core, this challenge with our balance. Maybe some work through the tricep there. And four. Three, still having that heavy tail on the neutral side. Two, one, and back to the start position. Let's set that foot down. The last set here, we're going to grab the second weight. Tie this to the ceiling. And we're going to bend our elbows and extend for soul crushers. And bend and extend. And bend and extend. Remember, bring the feet closer together if you want more of a challenge. And three. Two, one, take those knuckles to the ceiling, turn the palms to face behind us, and continue. We should feel this work really wrapping around the triceps as we rotate through the wrist. And three, two, one, take the knuckles to the ceiling, turn the palms to face away. Same thing. It's a little bit awkward in this position, those elbows are going to want to pull away from each other. And three, two, one. Knuckles to the ceiling, and let's set those weights down by our side. Let's bring the arms wide, palms face the ceiling, and roll side to side. Again, getting that massage through the spine. We'll come back to center with our inhale. Carefully roll up to seated. And slide it off for a foam roller. And with those weights out of our room, we'll do a little bit of foam rolling, a little bit of stretching here. So we're going to start off foam roller just behind our shoulder blades. Hands can be on the floor. We're going to lift the hips from up into that bridge. And then if this feels okay, just roll back and forth over the shoulder blades. We can always hold our Head in our hands, if that's nice and really support the neck there. We don't want to roll so low that we roll into that low back area, just where it feels nice. And two more. The last one. And then we'll set the hips down. And we're going to grab that roller and move it behind our knees. Behind our knees. Roll all the way down. And then we're going to lift the hips, bring that foam roller up under the hips. We'll extend the right leg long, hug the left knee into the chest. This should give us a nice stretch through the hip flexor on that right side. We're stretching through the glute on the left. Breathing, stretching a little deeper with each exhale. With our next exhale, let's extend that left leg and pull the right leg into our chest. Stretch through the hip flexor on the left side. Does the stretch feel okay? Yeah, that feels great. I really like this one. My hips get tight. Yep. And this is a nice way to open, especially after that hip work we did. So it should be a nice stretch through the hip and glute on the right side, as well as the hip flexor in front of the hip on the left side. One more big inhale. With our next exhale, let's extend that leg, 
Deep by the floor, we're going to lift the hips, take the foam roller out. We can carefully roll up to seat it. Now we're going to bring the foam roller sideways on our mat behind our head. Oh, before we lay down, feel the back of the skull right here. Do you feel those two bumps right at the base of the skull, one on either side? So that's where we want the foam roller. Those nodes, kind of those lumps right there at the base of the skull. That place where we get that head massage when you get our hair done. <laughs> so base of the skull resting on this foam roller. You can kind of hold on to the sides of the roller so it doesn't roll away. We're going to turn our head to the right and then to the left. So we want to feel the foam roller putting so pressure as we turn side to side on those nodes. So those are occipital condyles. That's where the tendons and the muscles in our neck connect to the skull. Just side to side. Next time we look to the right, stay there. Draw little circles with our nose. Feel that pressure, the massage all around that condyle on the right side. And then let's reverse those circles, circle in the opposite direction. We should feel tension draining out of our neck all the way down into the shoulders. We start relaxing through the body. Then let's turn to the left side and little circles with the nose. Did you find that place, Lisa, where you really feel that massage? Yes, feels fantastic. And then reverse. I love this. It feels so good in my body. It's like tingling all down my legs through the entire back of my body. It just feels like it relaxes everything. And then let's turn side to side a few more times. Really getting that massage on the base of the skull. We can work our way up the back of the skull if we like, and then tilting the chin up, and then work our way back down. And then we'll come back to center. Okay, let's use our exhale, hug our knees, roll all the way up to seated. Let the soles of the feet find each other. Knees fall open to the side for a butterfly stretch. Round forward over the toes. Like opening through those inner thighs, through the hips. And then we'll sit tall with our exhale. Let's come on up to standing. Feet parallel, hip width apart. Soft bend in our knees. And let's take a big inhale. Bring our fingertips to the ceiling. Feel length through the body, feel like we're a little taller. Relax the shoulders out of the ears, turn the palms away. Press those arms out and down. Inhale as hands come to the hips. Exhale, nod chin to chest and roll it down. Let everything hang heavy at the bottom. Head hangs heavy, arms hang heavy. While we're there, let's bend one knee and then the other. Pedal our legs out. Feel that final stretch through the back body, through the hamstrings, the low back. Come back to center, gently nod our head yes. Gently shake our head no. Maybe sway side to side like a tree in the breeze. We'll inhale to center, soften the knees, scoop the abs, tuck the pelvis. Use our exhale, roll all the way up. Restock the spine one piece at a time, hands last to come up. When it does, let's roll the shoulders back and down. Back and down one more time. We'll keep them there forever and ever and always. Hold one hand up. Give yourself a high five. We're doing a great job today. Easy. <laughs>